everyone, and welcome to Tech Time with Miss Boykin. Today, I thought we would actually look at a full guided reading resource. So we are going to find a book, and we're going to look at all of the resources that that book has to offer. So right now, I'm on RAS Plus. I went to Clever DISD. I clicked on Learning A through Z, and then I clicked on RAS Plus at the top. Remember that our teacher dashboard and the RAS Plus dashboard look completely different. So we want to make sure we're working in the correct place. So RAS Plus is where we are right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on my carrot next to my resources. I'm going to click on all leveled books. In my classroom, we have been working on informational text. So I am going to make sure that I filter all the books. When that blue check mark is there, I know that I am looking at all nonfiction and informational text. I'm going to work on the letter O because I've already done my pre-assessments. I know that my students are working on O, so today we are going to work on O. And we are going to look at all about chocolate. So here's my book, All About Chocolate. And one of the great things that you will see is that you can assign this to your students. You can also add this to your file folder. So we'll look at both of those later. Today we're just going to explore what all our resource All About Chocolate has to offer us. So right here we have a little carrot where we can take a sneak peek through the book to see is this something that I think my students would be interested in? I know that my kids love sweets, so I think they would love to learn all about chocolate. So right here is your book resources. You can decide if you want it to be single-sided, double-sided, or if you want it to be a pocket book. The pocket book is something that your students could keep in their book boxes or their book bags, in their work in progress folders, um, wherever you'd like for them to keep it. It's also important for you to know that a lot of these books have multi-levels and we all know that our students come to our classrooms reading on different levels. So even though I'm working on an O, this book is also offered in R and it is also offered in U. You'll also notice right here when I hover over books that it has available languages. So all about chocolate level R is available in English, French, Spanish, Polish, Ukrainian. So you can pick which language you would like for your students to read this book in. For today's purposes, we are just going to focus on English. You'll also notice that you have a projectable. This is such a great asset if you are going to use this book to do whole group lesson, even a small group lesson, or right now if you're going to use it to teach virtually. So I'm going to click on projectable so we can explore some of these tools that we have access to. Right here, you can decide um, if you're going to go forward, if you're going to go backwards. So we are going to go forward. Right here is our table of contents. If you're wanting to maybe highlight this, maybe you're giving a lesson on text features and you want them to see, here is one of your text features, table of contents. You can do that. I just clicked on it and I picked which color I wanted. I went with yellow. So I'm going to keep going. You'll notice right here that I have a text box. So a lot of times in the upper grades and in the lower grades, we want to make little notes to the side as we start coming up with ideas while we're reading because that's really important that we continue to foster that for our students. So you can press this T, which is the text box. You can decide between these um, colors of fonts. So let's go with purple this time. You can click an empty space to put your box there. There's also this little arrow here where you can decide maybe you want it longer, thicker. We'll just make mine right here and we will simply just type introduction. And this box is going to stay here even though I am flipping through pages. I can also go back and it'll be right here so when we come back to it next time. Now let's say maybe you made a mistake and you don't really want those boxes to be there. That's okay, that happens. You can either press this eraser here or you can just erase the whole thing and just reset your page. So I'm just gonna reset the page. I'm gonna click okay to reset 
And now I have a blank page that I can work with. So this is great for you to project on your projector or for you to work through a Zoom classroom. And so we're going to go back to reading A through Z. So you'll notice right here for your digital platform, this is actually where your students can see the book and they can work through the activities. This just lets you see what it looks like when they are doing it. So I pressed listen. I'm going to press my green All play button. about chocolate. Written by Robert Charles. Introduction. People around the world. So that's what your students will see when they when you assign this to them. So that's really great. Now, this also comes with a full guided reading lesson. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click right here to pull it up. And this will be your scripted guided reading lesson if you are needing a little of inspiration on how to actually teach this lesson in a guided reading, small group, you have your targeted reading strategy, you have your objectives, it gives you the materials that you need, the vocabulary that's gonna be important for you to go through, and then you'll notice that it also has sections like, here's what you do before reading, and then you keep scrolling down, here, you're going to introduce the reading strategy, introduce the comprehension strategy. Here's what you're going to do during reading. Here's what you can do after reading. Here's how you can build skills. So this is yours to use. So you're not just going out blind. You have an actual lesson plan that you can use to teach with this book. Now, I also want to point out that you have worksheets as well. So you can click right here where it says all worksheets, or you can just click the worksheet that you're looking for. You can pull this up and you'll see the different worksheets that go with this book. Now, like I said, you can use this as a small group lesson, or you can even use this in their centers and in their workstations. You can print this book double-sided, and then you can have these worksheets to go over there with that center as long as you um, have, you know, gone over it and explained to them how to use it. And then you also have your comprehension quiz. Now, if you assign this book to them through their student portal, then they can just take the quiz online. But if you're doing maybe a guided reading lesson and you want to have that tangible um, quiz with you, then you can simply just download it like we have the others. Here's their quiz that they would take. And then here is your answer sheet so you have it with you. Now, if you're looking to assign this to them, super easy. You are just going to press the assign button. You get to pick whether you want to assign it to all students, whether you want to assign it to just some students. In one class, maybe this is your second class you're working with, you get to make those decisions. You also get to decide if you want to have them listen to the activity, if you want to have them read the activity, if you want them to do both. This is completely your choice. And then you also get to decide, do you want them to have the quiz? Do you not want them to have the quiz? And if they have the quiz, they'll have 10 questions that are multiple choice. And you can also decide if you want them to have like a written response answer. I usually press yes, but that is completely up to you. And then now you're just going to press the green button that says assign. And you know you did it correctly when you see assignment created. But if you're just wanting to double check to make sure, did I actually assign that assignment correctly? You can just click the carrot next to manage students. And then you can click assignments. And this is going to take you back to that teacher dashboard that you see right when you log in to learning A through Z. And now you can see that you assigned on Friday, June 5th, the All About Chocolate. And these buttons right here let you know that they are going to listen to the book, they are going to read the book, and then they are going to take a quiz over the book. I also want to show you one more feature, which is called your filing cabinet. So a lot of times we see resources and we like them, 
and we exit off of the program and then we can't find those resources anymore and it's really frustrating trying to go back and continuously find those resources. So you have something really neat called a filing cabinet. So we're going to click on that. Once you click on it, you can make an actual folder. So I'm going to make a folder. Let's call this demo two. I'm just going to press enter or return. And now I have a folder. So I've already started making some folders. So I'll click on my technology books and I put in high tech treasure hunt. So if you're wanting to actually use this for later, you're going to go back to resources, back to all level books, we're gonna go back and just get that same chocolate book. It's already here, letter O, that's where we were working, nonfiction, that's where we were working. And now I'm just gonna hover over the book. So I'm gonna hover over chocolate. I'm not clicking on it right now. I've already looked at it. I already know that I wanna use it. I'm going to go right here to where it says add to and you have a little file. I'm going to drop it in demo two. I'm going to add the resource. I've already assigned it, so I don't need to assign it again. If you wanna view it in the filing cabinet, you would just click here. I feel pretty confident that it's there, so I'm just going to press save and close. And that's it today. Thank you all so much for joining me. We looked at All About Chocolate. We looked at resources that are available to us when we click on a book that we want to use. We assigned an assignment today with a quiz and a written response. And we also looked at our filing cabinet. Thank you so much for joining. See you next time.